Welcome to TRM's How To Series. This video will demonstrate how to apply column filters to lookups and the QBE page in IBM's Maximum. We will be using TRM's Rules Manager and Rules Manager Studio to accomplish this. By using Rules Manager to do this, we are not modifying the Maximum presentation or writing any custom Java classes. So let's begin. First, I'm going to show you how it looks in out of the box Maximum. So the goal of this video is to add a default filter to the status field here and a default filter to the site field here. All right, so let's write the rule. We need to open up Rules Manager Studio, which I already have open here. In order to write this rule, you need to be in the Rules Manager developer perspective. So to do that, click on the icon here, which opens the open perspective window and select Rules Manager Developer. And once this perspective is open, you need to make it connected to your Maxwell instance. Then right click underneath the Rules Explorer and add an application config tag. Now since we want to add a uh, filter to the locations value list on the work order QBE page. The rule has to be on the locations that family or option name. So we're going to right click on application config and we're going to select the QBE config tag. Then we're going to right click again and choose QBE filter. In the field labeled field, we're going to enter site ID, which is the attribute that we want to add a filter to. And then we're going to add the filter. We want the current logged in user's default answer site. So to get that, you would hit control space. And this brings up a list of variables. And you want to select rm underscore site. And then save. And then commit that save. Another goal of this video is to add a filter to the status QBE field. Do that, right click here and add a new application config. Select work order. Then we're going to put pin and add a QBE config tag. Then we're going to add a QBE filter and then double click on it. In the field label field, we're adding status. In the filter, we're going to add and we're going to save it, commit, and refresh. Now let's go check out Maximum. Now we're going to go back to recorder tracking the application. And as you can see, the status field now has a filter on it. And if I click on the location look up here, you can see it's now filtered by my logged in user site. So if I was to go up here and change my default insert site, And you then go back to the work order tracking application and click on location field. You will see now this is filtered by fleet. Now, one beauty of this rule is that when we wrote the rule here, we didn't specify an app on this rule. So, this filter is applied anywhere that that location lookup populates. So, if I was to go back to Maximo. and go to the asset application and click on the location look up here. This is also filtered by the site. Same thing if I go to like say service quest and click here. See it's filtered by site. 
this is the power of rules manager and writing the rule in one place and having it populate other places. Um, if you did not want to do that, just add an app configure app to the to the rule, and it will only apply to the application you select. Thank you for watching this video.